So I've been having a little look at this connector and I was a bit concerned that pin in the middle there might be earth. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, there's no direct connection through to the mains earth because I probed at the pin um, on the plug to that pin in the centre and there was there's no continuity. Um, so I don't know what it is but if I probe from the inner shiny surface to the outer shiny surface, I get the 19.5 volts that I'd expect. If I probe from the inner shiny surface, surface to that centre pin, which is a bit tricky with the size of probes I've got, then I seem to get about 18.2 volts. Um, so I don't know what that centre pin is. Uh, oh, oh, I know from the, from the case that the inner shiny surface is um, the positive. So, uh, my guess is it's Earth. Or an alternative neutral or something like that, I don't know. Um, the fact I don't get quite the same voltage, it could just be a, an issue with the probe. Um, but either way, I can't really use this connector unless I can find something that's actually going to properly fit that because if I just stick a wire in there, I'm going to get a short. Which wouldn't be good. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to cut the connector off, which is a shame because I rather like the connector. It's got a snazzy blue light on it. So, I'd like to know when he's on. So, I just had a little bit of a think about it and I reprobed it, and it definitely is coming out at um, a little over 18 volts instead of the 19.5 the supply can provide. And I think I probably figured out what that centre cable is. It's going to be some sort of probe cable. Um, I, I I bet it's something to do, it's some power saving feature and it's some way, I don't know, that the computer can probe the voltage of the power supply or the power supply can probe the voltage of the battery that it's charging or something something along those lines. It's going to be some sort of feedback mechanism. Um, possibly the brick has, a, has the ability to go into a power saving mode once the battery is fully charged or, or to drop its voltage in some way um, for the laptop that it, it was designed for to run. Uh, my only concern, I'm pretty sure it's not uh, an earth, it's a separate neutral. Um, my only concern now is that if it is some sort of sense wire then there could be jiggery pokery in the plug. Um, or it could be that the power supply won't provide full current unless it sees the correct voltage on that pin and only Dell would know that so we'll see, I'm, I think I'm going to have to whip the pin off and uh, work from there ok, it's time to stop dithering and start getting cutting so I'm going to cut the connector off um, to see what's in there because until I do I'm not I'm never going to know what's properly going on in there um, but I'm going to cut it off up here uh, above the choke um, ooh, or below the choke ooh, ooh. basically what I want to do is cut it off so that I can reattach this um, should I ever find uh, a socket that will that will fit that plug um, and if I, if I cut it off above the choke, um, I've got loads to play with, so uh, yeah. And it looks like, yeah, I've got a red, I've got a red, a black and a tiny blue. So yeah, that, that, uh, that makes me think that the blue is probably some sort of uh, sense wire.
understand. It's a tough sheet on this. Yeah, so we've got fairly sizable red and blue and dinky, dinky little, sorry, red and black, and dinky, dinky little um, blue there. I think that's probably, looking at it, it's about one mil, so I'm, I'm going to strip a decent amount back. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to fit a boot lace on that. That'll be convenient. I thought I was going to have to tin that. Let's see if a boot lace can fit on. Damn, it looks like it's just slightly too big for a 1mm boot lace. Let's see if I've got uh, one and a quarter mil. Just a moment. Well, I don't think I've got um, one and a quarter, which I suspect is what it is. But I do have one and a half. Uh, I think that's possibly a little on the large side, but give it a crimp, see what happens. That's not coming off there. Excellent. That's a stroke of luck. Won't cut that off. And I will do those, fold it up out of the way. And get a little bit of heat shrink on that, I think. Put more sheet off, and what, what I can probably do is arrange these two. So they're a bit more side by side, or in a line. Ha <laughs> ha! Ingenious! Ta da! And just hear, hear my daughter <laughs> wanting nanny and granddad to come today. Well, not, com not coming for a while. Not quite sure why I'm trying to save this blue wire, to be honest. Right, at last. Now I'll just give it a quick black with a hot air gun. Right, I now have, ouch that's a bit hot, a 19.5 volt power supply. Um, before I do anything I'm going to have to stick that in a chalky block though. Because you wouldn't want to short that out, not 4.5 amps. So I looked absolutely all over the workshop to try and find a piece of chocolate block. And could I find a piece? No. I, I'm. I've got tons of the stuff in this workshop, I'm sure of it. Um, eventually, up a deep, dark corner somewhere, I did find this bit of absolutely monster 15 amp chocolate block. Um, but I just thought I'd point out how unbelievably crap this is. This is brand new, straight out of the packet, and look at that one. It's broken. It's actually split internally. And that's brand new. Cheap B and Q crap. If it wasn't a if it wasn't probably about five years old, I'd take it back. But really, the, these ones aren't too bad. But these two that I've got the cables in, um, 
the hole up the centre, well, it isn't in the centre. It, this one's the worst. It's so far out of line. It's split the side of the um, connector. These these two are just about okay. So yeah, great great quality control there. Anyway, I'm going to screw everything down to or glue it all down. This is all glued down at the minute. I'll just glue all the rest of the stuff to this block of skanky old wood um, and uh, test the circuit out. <laughs>